That's right, $5 for 12 brushes. Each brush works out to be under 50 cents a brush. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Or is it? This is what we're here to find out. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. I make videos relating to all things beauty. I am a makeup enthusiast and I'm especially enthusiastic about beauty on a budget and smart consumerism when it comes to makeup. If that sounds like something you wanna be a part of, then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video, we are on the topic of beauty on a budget and we are testing out some $5 AliExpress brushes. I'm gonna be telling you guys whether this is one of the classic AliExpress hit or miss items and things you should avoid. I did use them to create this eye look that I have today and I used the Makeup Revolution Soph X palette. So yeah, if you guys are interested in finding out whether these brushes are worth it, do keep on watching. So the brushes come in a light peach pink color. The handles come in like a pink rose gold. The ferrules are wooden and the actual brushes themselves are made out of synthetic material or synthetic hair. I forgot to mention in this video, so I'm inserting it now, that these brushes took about a month to get to me, which by AliExpress standards, especially in the whole COVID situation, is actually pretty good because normally the packages take about two months to come. So in reviewing these brushes, I'm gonna go through the bristles that have the white synthetic hair first. First brush that I have is this large synthetic paddle brush. I use this to apply the brow bone highlight color. Even though this is like a synthetic material, it looks plasticky. It worked perfectly fine to apply the color. It isn't the most dense thing, but because it isn't too dense, it is quite malleable and bendy. I find that it picks up powder quite well and it does blend it at the same time. So that was perfectly fine. I'm not gonna complain about that. The next brush I have is this sort of similar flat paddly one, it's a little bit more angled. And I use this actually to apply this shade onto my eyes. I feel like this would work better for concealer, you know, just blending like cream products away with the angular shape that it has. Um, although when I was doing my eye makeup, it still did work in using that powder, but that prob this brush probably wouldn't be what I normally would use with my eye makeup. I really wanted to keep my eye makeup just to these brushes alone. So I did find that there were some gaps in some actual blending brushes. So that's why I use that one. The next two brushes in this set are these blending brushes. So there are two blending brushes. One of them is taller and a little bit skinnier and the other one is a little bit stubbier. If you can see, there are some fibers just sticking out of the brush hair. It hasn't shed, but there are just some long fibers that just look kind of out of place. None of these brushes have shed on me so far and I have washed them once. They did do an okay job at blending my eyeshadow. I did use one of these brushes as like an overall blending eye brush and I used the other one to apply the transition shade and they both did the job. They were okay. I definitely wouldn't say they're the most dense thing. You can, you can really see from here that it's quite floppy. It's not really tapered. The bristles are kind of long. These are, these are okay. I mean, they did the job, but I've definitely used better eye blending brushes and if I compare them to my MSQ brushes that you guys know I ride hard for, these are just okay. The next brush I have is this brush, this, I just, I don't know what it's called. None of these brushes have names on them. I would call this one like a small stubby blending brush. This has a similar issue to the other brush where the bristles are kind of sticking out just ever so slightly. I use this brush to apply the darker shade and to deepen up my crease. This was okay. It wasn't amazing. I don't really have much to say about it. It was, it was okay. It did, did the job. Have I used better blending brushes? Yes, I have. The next brushes I have I am just going to group together. I've got two that I actually used concealer for. First one is a flat concealer brush that's kind of like a square shape, but a little bit rounded. And I actually really enjoyed this brush. I did use it to cut the crease and I really liked that it was flat but straight and kind of still curved at the same time. So I really enjoyed using this for cutting the crease. I do find that in some of my brushes, I am lacking, you know, small concealer brushes that are kind of wide like this but curved and square at the same time. There's also the smaller brush. It looks like a lip brush, but I, I use this to detail the cut crease even more. The next brush I have is actually this lip brush. And I have just realized that I haven't used this brush yet. So let me just test it for you guys now. What I'll do is I'm gonna see if this brush does a good job in 
lining the lips with liquid lipstick. Now, I'm not really the best when it comes to using liquid lipstick as a lip, lip liner. I definitely prefer using lip liners, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna test it out. I'm using my Makeup Revolution Matte Lip Cream and it's in the shade Gone Rogue. Let's see if this works out well. So I think it did a fine job. I actually didn't line my lips prior to putting this liquid lipstick on. I just used a liquid lipstick and tried to line it myself. So I actually quite like this and I think I think it did a great job in applying that lip color and detailing all of that lip stuff. So I think this is a pretty good lip brush if I say so myself. So now moving on to the brushes that have the dark brown bristles with the white tip. First one that I'm gonna talk about is this brush. This I'm gonna say is a blending brush. Now, I use this brush to help blend my cleaning up the eyebrow situation and I found that blended fine with concealer. I do have to say that this brush though really isn't dense. It is very floppy and I don't know if you guys can see, but it is, it looks like the leaning Tower of Pisa, but on a miniature scale because it leans ever so slightly. I definitely would say that this brush isn't the best design thing. The next brush that I have is this angled blending brush. This one I used to um, deepen my crease. So I applied um, this brown shade and I found that it did work fine in applying powder. Although, as I mentioned, I really would have preferred if these brushes instead were proper tapered or small crease blending brushes or just smaller blending brushes in general. I feel like this brush set has the same brush already and it's kind of basically the exact same shape. So I don't really know what you would use two for. There's also that same issue where some of the bristle hairs are long and sticking out. So yeah, that, that was fine, but I don't really see what the purpose of that brush is for and yeah, nothing special. The next brush I have is this very poorly designed, I don't know what the heck that is. If that, this is meant to be like, I don't know, a degrade version of an angled eye brush. Yeah, so I use this for my brows. It is Floppy McFlopson, honestly. It is Leaning Tower of Pisa plus Floppy McFlopson. Because it is very weak and floppy looking, I filled in my brows and I applied powder instead. So using the powder on the brows, it worked fine. It does do the job, like even though it is bendy, you can just, you know, apply powder ever so slightly. Is it the best eyebrow brush in the world? No, it's definitely not. The last brush I have is this angled brush. Now this angled brush does redeem the Floppy McFlopson angled eye brush that we have. I use this to apply eyeshadow on my waterline and that worked fine in applying eyeshadow. This angled eye brush would work amazing to apply concealer to clean up the brows or just especially underneath because it is angled. And I have to say it's pretty dense as well. It's definitely not floppy. Um, it is a great shape. So those are all of the 12 brushes. My Final, final thoughts on this brush set is, well, honestly, out of all of the brushes, I probably only really like these brushes and maybe the lip brush, but I really hardly ever use lip brushes in general because I'm always using lip pencils. Out of these three brushes, I think you can probably miss this on AliExpress. The fact that it is so cheap and it works out to be less than 50 cents for a brush, I really don't mind, but, but I do think that if you're looking for a brush set, you may as well pay a few more dollars and get yourself a pretty decent eye brush. I still stand by the eBay MSQ brush set that I reviewed. I've had that for a couple of years. I feel like with this brush set, you won't be able to do a really great eye look. It's really missing a lot of blending brushes, small tapered blending brushes, and they just have too many of these weird, I don't know what this shape is, but this is just unnecessary. I honestly did find it kind of difficult to apply my eye makeup while using these brushes for the first time. And you can see in the clip, when I'm applying my makeup, I have one eye that looks like an utter mess. And that was the first time I tried the brushes and then I ended up taking all of that eye off and redoing it again. So in my opinion, if I had to rate this brush set out of a five, one being exceptional and amazing and zero being let me trash that or one being let me trash that. I would have to give this brush set a two out of five. This is below average, something that you can definitely skip. I was curious going on AliExpress, wondering if the really cheap brushes would be any good. And that kind of fulfilled my theory that you do kind of get what you pay for. And this is not a gem where it is extremely cheap and it is good. If you're looking for an eye brush set to actually do good eye looks with, then probably give this one a miss. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you're actually watching until the end of this video and you haven't actually skipped out, well, first of all, congratulations, because trust me, there are not many people that actually watch till the end and you haven't subscribed then, I mean, what are you doing? You made it all this way. You've seen me attempt to use these eye brushes and do an eye look. I would really love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much again for watching and taking the time out of your day, night or afternoon to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in my video next week. Bye.